Good morning, YouTube. Today's day in the life vlog is a wonderful rainy Saturday. It is snowing outside and it's about 8 30 o'clock in the morning. And my husband and I, he made me breakfast in bed. So sweet. I don't know if we've really done that much for breakfast in bed, but he was very thoughtful this morning. And we're just gonna spend well, he, we had a like date in the morning, and then we'll finish our date um, tonight because we normally do Friday night dates. But I had a Pops concert last night, a fundraiser. Um, I am finally getting over my head congestion cold. I still sound a little strained and um, raspy in my voice, but that's okay. I'm not blowing my nose a hundred times a day. So I am going to clean up the dishes that my husband made and then just do some things around the house because it is just one of those days. Just raining, still a lot of snow on the ground, like I said. I'll even show you. So there's just some nice, you see snow, still raining. Um, we're supposed to get like four more inches of rain today, or of snow, not rain. So it's just going to be one of those days. So, um, I'm about 36 weeks pregnant, and so I want to make sure I go through and wash this full zero to three month tote of clothes, at least most of it. It's for my sister. I mean, I trust her washing and everything, but um, I'm using a very simple laundry detergent, just some Kirkland cast aisle soap and some baking soda um, powder laundry detergent just to keep it simple because I have sensitive skin, so I'm going to guess our baby's going to have pretty sensitive skin. So I'm just going to go through, pick quite a few of the outfits out, and start washing them so that it is done and ready, just in case baby comes early, and it's just nice to have that stuff done early. from Holler. I had not ordered from Holler in about a year and I just was looking at it and had some fun <laughs> shopping on there. In our budget we have like 
a fun shop for Blaze and for Davey. So um, I kind of splurged on a few things. Some things are really practical, like this make my splatter cover. I melted ours several times, and this was two bucks. So it's a little flimsy, but I know most of the time they're like 11 or 12 dollars from Target or Walmart. And I didn't have a splatter guard, so I thought that would be good for sauteing things when it splatters out. I'm really excited about these. These were $1.50, these canister labels. Um, it has a 48 different labels. Some of them I probably won't use because I don't have things like um, caraway or margarine, which I probably should. But anyways, they're cute labels. I have canisters already, so I can just stick stuff on there. These chalkboard little labels that tie on, there's 12 in here. I think I want to use them on baby's baskets or just baskets in closets or something like that. I think this was a dollar, honestly. And then I wasn't sure about getting these, but these seagrass trays, I got three of them because I think I'll use two myself and then uh, give one, like put a baby gift in it for one of our friends who is having a baby because I know she likes baskets and organizing as well too. And it's really cute. I think this was $4. It's like 15 inches long by five inches wide. So I just thought that'd be super cute and it would fit on the back of the toilet or in the baby's room or something like that. But I kind of splurged without a thought of where it was going. Okay, I guess I had a couple thoughts of where it was going. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yes, I'll show you over here. Turn in a little bit. Okay, the blue little fruit basket. I'll take my fruit out. This was $6, but it's really cute and I love turquoise so much. Um, and it just was a good pop of color, a little bigger than the other fruit basket I had, just a wire. I think that's so fun, so cute to have. And our nice fruit looks so cute in there. So. Um, if you spend more than $25, you get free shipping, and then it's just, it's like a dollar store, but a little bit pricier, so it's really fun, really affordable stuff. So the mailman just came, and I got this package from a subscriber. Uh, she said she was sending a package, and I'm super excited. Lori, thank you, before I open it, from Kentucky. See if I can get this here. Ah. We're getting there. There we go. This is a really nice box. Oh my goodness! She has a personalized card for my husband and I. <laughs> oh, for a baby girl. Wow, you wrapped this so well, Lori. Oh my goodness. Look at this, isn't that just so cute? Oh. <laughs> Lori, you outdid yourself. Oh my word, and I'm just washing baby clothes, so I'll have to <laughs> throw this in there. Wow, such a cute darling hat. Oops, ah. Oh, and a little shirt. Socks! I actually have not gotten any socks. Yay! Oh, yes. All right. So, <laughs> ruffle bottom pants. So cute. Yay! And, let's see. A little sleeper. Oh, good. Okay, now here's the really cool stuff she said. I'm guessing she made these. Look at that. Oh. If you did this, Lori, and made these, wow, you are very talented. Oh, and like a little snuggy old blanket. Oh, my word. Look at that. Okay, you definitely made these. These are so adorable. Oh, my goodness. Like this. Oh, and has some grays and turquoise in it. Oh. That is so cute. Uh, baby will love this, a little girl. All right, one more box. This is just like a Mary Poppins bag here. 
shine cute oh my goodness <laughs> this will have to hang in our little girl's room isn't that adorable that is just so cute I can't believe it Lori you worked so hard on this thank you thank you thank you wow I just feel so overwhelmed and blessed, Lori, that you would do this for me, sending us a package. It just, oh, what a blessing. God has put some amazing subscribers on YouTube for me just to care for us like that. How awesome. I'm so excited to use these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Words can't tell you how much and to put that time and effort into there. Oh, so fun. And to think she'll be here in four or five weeks. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Thanks again, Lori. Off to show Blaze, and he'll be so excited and in awe that a subscriber. More belly this butter works. rub. This is probably the last time I'm gonna have to make it. Um, I have not gotten any stretch marks, and I am 36 weeks long, so I attest that this belly buddy works. Um, I actually haven't gained like a lot of weight, anyways. It's mainly just the belly weight, some on my legs, and then some on my arms and chest, of course. But this belly butter really works. It's shea butter, coconut oil, um, what else? I forget what this is. Oh, cocoa butter. And then I put some vitamin E oil in it and some lavender. And that's it. And I just do it once or twice a day on my belly, rear, chest, and call it good. So, I use it very regularly, but I'm gonna finish up making it because it's the last time I'll be making it. Okay, so this is our lovely back porch. You don't see this very often, but we have a plant here. Lovely is a little sarcastic there, by the way. This is the one plant. I had this outside all summer, and I brought it in. It's got, it's a little peaked. This one I just need to take back outside because it doesn't have much life left in it. And then we have a couple over here more of the same kind as you can tell this guy I was hoping this one would come back to life but I don't know this is also where our doggy lays in our washing machine and dryer and here's my homemade laundry detergent and my little lavender essential oils. I just really wish this was a little bit more organized back here, but it's kind of just the back porch, so I don't know what you can do about it. With our shoes and egg cartons that I get from farm eggs and shoes, so yeah, that's, that's a very real back porch for you. I'm gonna put my holler labels on my little canisters that I got, at least the ones that I have. So this will hopefully keep me a little more organized and then I don't have to buy a marker to write on them.
making some protein bars. I use natural peanut butter. I make some um, almond butter in with it too. Then I'm gonna use some flaxseed, some plant-based, what is this called, protein powder. And then I'll put some raisins, craisins, and some pumpkin seeds in there. Oh, and some chocolate chips. And then some oats. Oh. And raw honey. So that's what I'm going to make. Mm, that smells really good. And um, yeah, just hopefully it may not last us up till baby comes. But Blaze and I like to eat those as little snacks. So that's what I'm going to do. vlog it's it is really bright but <laughs> uh, I sit on my wall try to every day because it helps my back with my ribs being pretty painful and blaze is nice enough to give me a nice little back massage some days not every day some days. yep so we're just gonna probably watch a show I will maybe fold some baby clothes Ooh, fun. Fold some baby clothes mm-hmm I could. But I thought today was a pretty productive day. If you notice, I did a lot more in the morning because I get more tired in the afternoons. <laughs> but I thought today was a nice, productive Saturday. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you are new, I do videos on, ouch, Sorry. <laughs> simple and thrifted living, DIYs, and homemaking. So I'll talk with you in the next video. Bye. Ouch. <laughs> that really hurts right there.